Today's big story, the across-the-board spending cuts that many have been fearing for weeks are now in effect. President Obama signed an order late last night making it official. ABC's John Schrifferin explains how people across the nation are right now preparing for the worst. Before President Obama signed the order to start $85 billion in automatic spending cuts, people across the country prepared for the worst. At Mount Rushmore National Memorial, that means no hiring for the busy summer season and no more traveling for park staffers either. At Fort Bragg, small cutbacks on energy and office supplies are already in place. It's kind of like the sun setting, uh, and so you're going to see it as it slowly goes down. You're going to start to see some changes gradually. Thousands of federal workers in Central Texas will feel the most pain from the budget cuts. Our employees have been, you know, really confused and shattered by the, by what could happen. And along with worries, people seem annoyed and frustrated. Everybody recognizes that we got to do something different, but it seems to me they could be adult. Lawmakers appear to understand the frustration. We shouldn't be making a series of dumb arbitrary cuts to things that businesses depend on and workers depend on. For the nearly 4 million Americans who have been receiving unemployment benefits for more than 26 weeks, the budget cuts could mean 9% less in their checks. $144 a month is one week of, uh, of groceries for myself and my two daughters. The pain from most of these cuts won't be felt until next month. Flyers may face longer delays because of fewer air traffic controllers and civilian Defense Department staff forced to take one unpaid day every week. But for many Americans, it's not all bad news. The sequester will not delay tax refunds. In fact, it may mean fewer audits. John Schriffen, ABC News, New York. And 10 News spoke to aviation expert Glenn Wynn, who says he doesn't think the cuts will cause as many flight delays as expected.